everybody this is Tiffany I hope everyone's having a great day I came on to give a prophetic word so guys this message is stemming from a dream that I had on the 6th of this month this is a quick dream and it's regarding family so um, I was at this family function and it was a lot of my family members there and then the two that stood out was my two sisters so where we were standing um, right before she walked up my sister walked away and said um, I'm gonna get my niece on the phone because my niece wasn't there and I said I don't even want to be around this family <laughs> A, a squid came out of nowhere. So it was a white squid that came towards me. It was by like this banister. The squid came directly towards me. And then I ended up hitting the squid with the shoe, but the squid didn't run or anything. The squid was just there. So then I ran where other family members were and I ended up falling. And then the squid still came to attack me. And then I got a spray out of nowhere and I started to spray the squid. So the squid was like frozen, like stopped in its tracks. And then that was the end of the dream. So I didn't really know exactly what the squid had anything like to do with the dream or whatever, but it, it's going to make sense. So um, yesterday when I was going over the dream, what came to me was come out from among them, right? So I had to look up what scripture that came from. So it came from 2 Corinthians 6, 17. So I'm going to read that. It says, Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. So pretty much come out from among them came to me because of the family. So what the Lord is saying here is you need to come out from among these family members. So honestly, I, I thought it was like come out, just leave these family members originally. But no, when I continue going over it, it's either um, you need to, um, you either already removed yourself from these family members or you need to remove yourself because this is why the family function was there. and was taking place and my sister said I'm gonna get my niece on the phone to come to the the function and I said I don't even want to be around this family I was there but I already personally removed myself from certain ones so it's either to lower you back in and the Lord is telling you to stay separate or you need to remove yourself and be separate so you'll know um, which side you're on and you'll know if this is pertaining to you as well this is not to make it fit you will know if it fits or not and then you just take it to the Lord in prayer and pray for guidance and clarity on the best way to go about this so um, what stood out with one of the characteristics of this squid is the spine the uh, squids don't have spines right so spineless so I'm gonna read spineless here so it says having no spine or backbone invertebrate lacking resolution weak and purposeless a spineless coward so when i was going over the dream after reading spineless there's some family members that um are spineless they never stepped in when um you were being attacked by some of these other family members so very toxic towards you so there were some family members toxic towards you and other family members that knew that but they were spineless they never st stepped in to help you um, that's why I was trying the squid was trying to attack me, but no one was trying to help me in that way so uh, So the, your family members are the reason for the distance between you and the Lord so you've been feeling some distance between you and the Lord and um, And this is the reason because of their idol worship. This is why that scripture came to me 2nd Corinthians six seventeen, idol worship and then it also can be some witchcraft there because these two sisters are into witchcraft um, but this scripture is stemming from idol worship and this is why you need to separate yourself um, because of whatever they have going on that's the distance between you and the Lord because of it so um, being yoked to them mean being around them every day or because you live in the same household with this idol worship and witchcraft going on so this is why you need to separate yourself from these people or stay separate from these people um, because you've been feeling some distance between you and the Lord because you could have this is an open door right here just to let you guys know the affiliation is an open door if you guys weren't aware of that um, so there could be some things affecting you um, witchcraft if witchcraft is taking place and this is why the squid also represents witchcraft as well because um, the, the marine kingdom um, and they could be um, doing things manipulating and affecting you physically um, through the spirit um, you might be suffering from headaches and migraines because of it this witchcraft being done um, yeah, uh, idol worship you're, is a, a huge open door when you're in a, a location or you're eating the food that they're doing things to, um, sleeping there and they have these idols in, in there. It's very hard for you to hear clearly from the Lord and to get that 100% protection that you would honestly get 
um, if you weren't living in this. I forgot who was it that brought a cursed thing and then everybody was cursed. And, um, I forget. He had brought a cursed thing in the camp and then everyone was cursed. That still applies to this day. So everyone just needs to be aware of who they're, um, where they're living, who they're living with, and take the necessary steps that they would need. You have to pray, you know what I mean? Because it's not like everyone could just pack up and leave if this is happening. But you still need to be aware on what's happening and not oblivious to it. Okay. So what else is here? So squids belong in the water, right? Another thing that squids belong in the water. So the squids don't belong on land. So what stood out when I was going over where they belong? You don't belong there right you don't you don't feel like you belong and you really don't belong you are separate you are you you belong to the lord and they don't so this is why you don't feel like you belong because you you're his if that makes sense and this is why he's given this message because he wants uh, everyone that is affected by this to know why you feel distance from the lord it, this is it this is why um what else is here Okay, so with these family members, if you did distance yourself or you need to distance yourself, what they're going to put on this act here. So, like, a, um, because the squids are chameleons. So, what they're going to do is they're at, they'll start acting different, speaking different, appearing different, but they won't be different. It's a trick. This is why the squid was attacking me as well. It's a trick because you're going to, it's going to, something is going to attack you, whether it's spiritual or physical. It, it, it's, a, it's like a trap, you can say. This is why the squid came out of nowhere um, once I was there. And the squid only wants to attack me because that's the point. They want to lower you somewhere and you're going to get attacked. So uh, if it's a spiritual attack, they'll give you something or you'll eat something or you'll be around some people that are doing things and then you'll be affected by it spiritually but you won't know that right away uh, and as a, it, it, it could be a physical attack as well. Since, that's a, since they are open door, that location, that family um, and that, that home is an open door, then it could be a physical attack and you're wide open because you're not really uh, protecting yourself in a way. You're not praying. You're not suiting up. You're not doing a lot of things because of this connection with these people. So you've slacked on your end as well. And that just came to me. I didn't write that down. So you'll know if you've been slacking in your prayer life as well. You haven't been um, praying effective prayers and you haven't been suiting up with the whole arm of God. So you'll be wide open for any type of attack. That's why I, when I fell back, when the squid came to attack me, I was in the middle of everything. It was like I was I was wide open. Everything was there. Family members were there, but it was a big uh, circle. But no one came to help me. I was defenseless. I was by myself, and I was just like in the middle of all that. So wide open you would be going back or staying there. Oh, let me uh, read this here. So with the squid's eyes, you know how it's far apart or whatever. Uh, the eyes of a squid found on either side of the head uh, each contain a hard lens. The lens is focused by moving, much like the lens of a camera or telescope, rather than changing shape like a human. So um, what stood out to me was camera and telescope with the squid thing. So these family members, um, are, this is how they are pretty much regarding you telescope watching you um very closely a telescope can watch from a far distance and a camera close up so they haven't been watching you or they this is they've been watching you keeping an eye on you um so you have to be very cautious and aware on how to move around these family members because it's like they have their eye on you but for what reason so this is why you have to pray uh for the lord to reveal how to go about this and what's the their end goal so then you'll know how to pray and you'll know how to move move or move around them right i don't know if i said this before like if it is witchcraft you're probably suffering from migraines and headaches um i might have mentioned that but i wrote that down here because that's what stood out to me regarding um this squid here and the effects of this actually latching onto you in the spirit um i think that's pretty much it uh, yeah, I read everything here. So pretty much just be very aware if, if family members are calling you out to, to a family function, a gathering, it's a trick, it's a setup. Um, so you have to pray about it and to be separate if you haven't distanced yourself already, um, to separate yourself from them, even if you can't move out right away or remove yourself or whatever from being connected to them daily, 
pray to the Lord and ask him the best way because it's distance between you and the Lord right now. So this message is pretty specific as well. So you'll know if this message is for you. Please don't try to make this fit. If it doesn't fit, it's not for you. Uh, you will know because it's going to be confirmation or you're going to feel a check in your spirit. Then you take this message to the Lord in prayer. Um, just be very cautious, guys. If you um, are called out to a family function, pray about it first to see if you should even attend. All right, guys, so this is the end of the message. I love you guys. Um, have a wonderful and blessed day, and I'll see you soon. Lord willing, and be blessed. Bye.